Well, hello there, sir. What's up? Oh, look at that facial hair. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, just chilling, man. Taking it easy. Taking it easy. How are you doing? Taking it easy. <laughs> there's, a, there's like a weird distortion going on. You know, there always is. There always is. I think it's just, I think it's just because we're not in heads on us. Yeah. I would have, what can you do? Can you hear me all can you hear me all right? It's like gargly. It's like gargly. Really? Really? Yeah. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's, well, first off, thank you uh, for the congratulations on joining and uh, looking forward to meeting you in Atlanta, uh, first and foremost. It's it's weird because um, in a lot of ways, I think a lot of bands are the same. Uh, there, there's certain, um, there's certain like baseline aspects that are the same. Um, but you're, you have to learn all the different personalities and that's what makes each thing different. You're, you're coming into, uh, a different family. So you have to learn the dynamic, uh, from the person, person, personal side of it. And then from the business side, you have to figure out, you know, how everyone wants to conduct, uh, conduct the business. Um, but the actual playing, the actual playing is a blast. I mean, the guys are, you know, you, you, the fans who have gotten to know them, you all know that they're, they're just really good guys they're genuine and and um they've taken me under their wing and and really helped uh bring me along in learning the material and um because the music is so technical uh, as opposed to maybe doing like a pop project or something where i might be running backing tracks and on a click um this project is much more dependent on personal on the personality so having you know uh, jake anthony and i let's say run a segment over and over and over again to make sure that we're really locked in and we're super gelled and uh tight um, for some of the trickier parts of the songs is um it's much more important than uh than than let's say just having backing tracks and, and running a pop thing um, where you have that guide in your ear, whereas this is a lot more organic and um, and really dependent on on all five of us, but especially the 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 four the four instrumentalists, making sure that we're really locked in and, and um, can hear each other and, and learn each other's cues too. So when we're when we're looking at each other, we kind of can read the body language and and uh, and just know instinctively what what the guys are going to do. Lovely. Can you hear me now? Oh, so much better, man. Thank you. Whatever you did. Thousand times better. I, I just had to reset the driver. Of course, our friend Everton over there is pointing that out in public. For those that just joined us, we are uh, we had a few issues. Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Uh, interesting. Uh, interesting uh, response there, Chris. Response there. Uh, Chuck yeah. says I'm sounding yeah. awful. Well, well, you know, you know what to do. <laughs> Let's see here, Jake. Uh, uh, could not fucking could be not here. Fucking be he here. is he flying is back, flying back Puerto from Puerto Rico. Uh, feel free to add, feel free to add questions as to why, to why he is flying back to Puerto Rico. Let's see, Everton. Let's see, Everton. Let's see, Everton. Another question. Let's another question. Um. Uh, the first, the first show in Vancouver. It was, it was the the last. Um, last. Um, it's, it's good to get back on stage for the first time in a long time. And, 
we're really excited to hear music and the music and there and and then selfishly it was great to spend uh part of what many hours out of a day to with each other something like that yeah there's a there's a there's a definitely a it's definitely a learning curve. Learning, learning curve. Different, different, different personalities. 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 Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> no one in particular. No one in particular. Uh, you know, I just I, got. You know, I just screen from Fran from Fran. Unleash the archers. Unleash the archers. Of the show. Of the show. And I, I took the audio out. The audio out. Remastered it. Remastered. Sounds sounds much better. There's still there's still few issues. Few issues that and it it goes out. It goes out. I'm sure you know what I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Really bad, really um, bad. Um, but we'll deal with that another day. day. Another day. Let's see here. Let's see here. Dave, Dave, Dave. Is it still Dave. bad? Still bad? Fucking, fucking. Chris, is it? Is Chris, is it is fixed it, at all? Fixed at all? It's the first like couple yeah. things you've ever did, and now it's That's so weird. That's so weird. So weird. So weird. This is not. This a, is not cheap a, a camera. Cheap camera. <laughs> I think it's the program. I think it's streaming. It should. This is. This is a. This is. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a highly touted. It's a highly touted, highly touted program, program by, used by many professional, many professional broadcasters. broadcasters. Let's see. Let's see. What, you want me to log out? Yeah. Let's try that. Let's try that. I'll talk to these people. Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Can you guys hear me any yeah, better now? Any better now? Any better now? Jesus. It is better now. Then we'll get started with some questions that there was one directed at me. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. This is from Facebook. Joseph, how many drummers has Witherfall had over the years? Jesus Christ. Depends on what your definition of drummers is. Um, well, you know, we started off with Adam, and uh, Jake, Jake likes to say it was an unfortunate mishap. Um, we say that jokingly. And, uh, yeah, so we had a couple of drummers fill in for him. Uh, we ended up having some, some issues in the studio with Steve, so that didn't last, but... Uh, I mean, we've worked with a ton of drummers in the studio setting. That's it's nothing new, and it's nothing new for many bands. Many bands do that. Anyway, Chris is back. Let's check him out. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, well, you sound a lot better now, that's for sure. All right, there we go. It's uh, fucking drivers. <laughs> uh, Joseph here, not me, but someone else. Not one of my personalities. Uh, I don't know how many drummers we had, uh, and uh, I let him let him know a little bit. There's just too much to talk about. Actually, it would be fun to have 
each one of the people that were previously in the band on here to say a few words. Of course, I'll have like a 10 second delay on that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> see what we got. Uh, you gonna pull Philly in too for that one? Uh, yeah, exactly. I'll have like a, a 10, for 10 second relay switch. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't turned into goo yet or spontaneously combusted, so progress. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Everton. Hey, did you ever have that meeting? Hit me up on email. Um, has the Witherfall has in mind to make a music video for it? I don't know if that's a question. Um, is that a preposition? What the fuck is that? Anyway, uh, you know, we we were doing a mu we weren't doing music videos for every single song, but we were doing some sort of concept. Um, I don't think we're going to do anything for that song. We have a new record coming somewhat soon, so all of our resources and time are going to be put into that. So that one's already out. Let's see here. Is that Dave? Is that Dave, Dave? <laughs> no. Good Lord. It's, uh, actually, no. Dave, Dave has a much bigger ego than that guy. His face would be right in front of the camera. Um, <laughs> thanks, David. Um, let's see here. Chuck, are we doing a meet and greet in Indianapolis? Well, we're not going to charge anyone for meet and greets. Um, that's not happening, but uh, no, not not before shows. We're not doing that. Um, after shows, if you find one of us at a bar next door to the venue, um, yeah, you can come say hi if you find us. The Soul Butcher. Okay. I don't if I've ever heard of one. You guys were great at hyperspace. Were you at hyperspace there, Soul Butcher? Yeah, I wonder right, if I, know. I wonder if we have anybody on here that watched the the Twitch stream versus uh, being there in person. Yeah, um, I'm sure there's a few. Oh, that you motherfucker! Ah, thank you. I think we saw uh, we saw him at the airport. Um, so oh, yeah, we were getting our COVID tests. Remember? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No blow up doll. You disappoint me, man. You disappoint me. The one show I'm fucking well, it wasn't the one show I'm drinking, but it's the one show in a while I'm drinking and, and you weren't drinking. <laughs> Let's see here. Um is Daniel or Danielle? Daniel, right? I don't know. Uh next album release month. No, it would be sometime next year. Um we're working out a few of the logistical details regarding labels and whatnot. Someone is texting me. That's funny. Um, let's see here. Yes, and sorry I didn't bring the blow up doll. Oh my god, let's get back to questions for Chris here. Let's see. All right. Chris, you want to read that and answer it? Sure. Uh, Dale Young. Hello, Chris. Hello, Dale. Uh, what's your top three favorite bands of all time? Looking forward to seeing you live with Witherfall one day. Well, thank you, Dale. Uh, yeah, when you come check us out, come say hi. Top three bands. Um, just, I don't know if this, is, if this is the case for you, but for me, it's in like periods. You know, like when I was in high school, I had my top three and that changed in college and, and as I've gotten older and stuff like that. I'd say um, today, or, or over the last, let's say, four or five years, maybe 10 years, I think Thrice is at the top of that list. They're probably my all-time favorite band. Um, and then after that, it kind of gets a little muddy. Um, but because I, I, I kind of go in, in streaks with bands where like, you know, like Dream Theater, for instance, you know, I, I love 
from images and words through metropolis part two and then after that i'm kind of like eh, there's some good records but uh you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna pretend that i've been a diehard dream theater fan for the last decade or 12 you know 12 or so years a lot of the other bands that i was like that uh, i kind of feel the same way um probably the the kinks would be up there um i think kinks would be probably my number two and then that third spot's probably some mis mishmash of a bunch of different bands whether it's uh, depending on my mood it could be Miles Davis one day could be Wu Tang Clan the next could be Lincoln Park if I'm feeling kind of two thousands uh, new metal emo so but uh, but thrice for sure is at the top of my list uh, that's that's a no brainer for me. All right, interesting and uh, I'm assuming there's no th shade being thrown around uh, with that Dream Theater quote. Say that again. Assuming there's no shade being thrown with that dream theater. No, no, no. I had nothing had nothing to do with like the band, the the drummer lineup change or anything like that. It was more just I think uh, I think a lot of bands, man. When you when you get into record ten and twelve and fifteen, you know you are your sound. So there's a bit of sameness at a certain point, unless you're really doing, unless you're really reinventing yourself every two or three records. Um, it's not a shot. I mean, the dudes are incredible players, but. Uh, but there's they, there's a formula to what they do, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just I'm like, okay, I know I know the Dream Theater formula. That's cool. Um, and and I listen. I've listened to every record, but I don't have that same like, oh man, I can't wait for the next Dream Theater record like fervor that I did when I was 16 or 18 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. There's there's nothing like the images and words through change of seasons. It's, it's, I don't yeah, think I'm, that they even matched any of those. Yeah, songs I'm... yeah there's a there's a few good songs here and there on, on various records but uh yeah those three records are magic at least to me. yeah i would i i always throw metropolis part two because that was my first dream theater record and then i went backward so i have a very special kind of place in my music education for that record I, I actually don't really like that record. That's the record I met Alex with. Like he was in some band doing a bunch of Dream Theater covers, and I'm like, I didn't I didn't know that record at all. And they're like, yeah, it's the best one. And I'm like listening to it, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll learn them. There's a few good songs, but it's just it's not as dynamic. I think once those guys started producing themselves, it started to go downhill too. Yeah, and I, th I think that was the last record before they started doing it, but you can see the fingerprints of, of the self-production on that. It lost a lot of dynamics um, from that point on, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if someone there was purposely trying to make their sound more modern instead of just, like, a big-sounding rock record. Yeah. No idea. Let's see here. Jason Coat. <laughs> Chris, what is the uh, hardest song to play? The hardest to play that I've had to learn so far is Vintage. Uh, there's, a, there's a section around the five minute, five minute to six minute mark uh, where there are maybe six time signature changes and, uh, and a couple of tempo changes inside of about a minute, minute and 20 seconds. Uh, and yeah there's just a lot of counting it's 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 probably the most difficult song uh that i've had to learn thus far uh i'm i'm sure just you're talking about the, right the, the, the before the ending before the six eight ending when it kind of goes haywire yeah there's there's uh that heavy breakdown part that's three measures of four then a measure of five then three measures of four a measure of seven and then it gets into that 13 13 section, 17 section, and you know, and it bounces around a bunch. So uh, it's a lot of fun, and it was a lot yeah. of fun. But if uh, if you if you if you're trying to count it while you're playing live, though, it's you you already like you're already behind behind the fucking ball. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> like I found my. Mm -hmm. 
No, no, sorry. The, the thing for me is like, that's the one section I still have to count. And that's, the, that's been why it's a difficult part. Whereas a lot of the other stuff has already been internalized. So even if there are time signature curveballs thrown in there, I'm like, oh, I've already internalized the section. Whereas this is just like, all right, I gotta, gotta make sure I'm counting all that. And, and um, the, the trickiest part is that little section that Joe, uh, that Jake has when he's on his own. I've got to count the... the Yep, because if I come in wrong on that, the whole thing, the train comes off the tracks. Yeah, when, uh, yeah, I, you'll probably get to see our our, uh, our demo process, but it's, <laughs> it's a lot of me staring at a computer screen trying to line up stuff the way that we're hearing it, because... You know, it's usually like 4 a.m. when the stuff's getting laid down. So it's like, it's like I think I got it. Just put it on 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 one one at 300 beats per minute. And like he'll try and line it up there, and if if I want it to be, you know, like 13 eight or nine eight, like I just go and snip sections out like however I want it, and then change the time signature to fit. You know, because I don't know how much Pro Tools editing I've done, but doing those timeline edits can get really fucking annoying when things start getting shifted around. Yeah. Pro Tools is the one that I'm the least familiar with. I'm, I'm pretty handy oh, well. and logic, but Pro Tools, I just haven't had the time to invest in. Mm -hmm. I used to use uh, Sonar. Like, oh, wow. Sonar. Yeah. yeah. I love that. The, the, the workflow is really, really intuitive. Like, yeah. There's too many, too many weird fucking like fast key stuff on Pro Tools. It's funny. But yeah, those are the only two I really know. I think I used to it for a minute at one point in time. It's not, it, as far as counting, it's probably different if you're like, if you're doing something manually because if you're counting and then you have to open your mouth and most of the time the vocal is not like strictly on downbeat. There's a always like the breath and the actuation of of the note beforehand that if you if you are thinking like in terms of like numerical counts like you're always going to be late it's just, you can't do it it doesn't work yeah because you're going to be breathing and setting yourself up when you're probably supposed to be coming in right uh no well i mean so like some guys sing like that like michael buble like where it's like little blobs of midi and the note just goes eh, 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 like but like a lot of the expressive stuff you like sometimes even though like the, the if you wrote out sheet music like i guess the transient would be right on the downbeat like say it's like an a right like a half note a but in reality like if you really were gonna write out what you were hearing, like that that note might gliss up for like a beat and a half or a dotted eighth note or something beforehand into that downbeat. So like counting really <laughs> it's not it's not gonna help you. Like you better just know how the song goes. That's why it's really important to have a drummer that has their their meter down and you know understands the song so that if, if something is going wrong they still know how to make the song work and breathe like the way it's supposed to because if you're just so there's certain drummers not to go back to a certain band that we were just talking about that uh they just they sound like they're literally like listening to a count like in their ears and they're just playing along they're not like breathing through the song you know it's like they're getting little increments of information and plot down anyway let's not go there <laughs> let's see here yeah it's shit. Mechan i take mechanical like i listen to sugar that's mechanical but it's still more listenable than certain people that's um, funny. There's, there's an organicness to the way that that pop goes yeah yeah yep it's it's definitely baked into the performances um in that band, like it's supposed to be like that. Um, let's see. Yeah. I don't know who this Facebook user is, but I wonder if 
I wonder if they're Russian. Uh, <laughs> Chris, you want to read that one? Yeah. Uh, anonymous Facebook user. Uh, what about history? Uh, so I grew up with a steady diet of invasion. Mitchell, Keith Moon, obviously Ringo Starr, John Bonham, like that was the foundation through my dad. My dad was a drummer, so he got me started and that was the foundational thing for me. Um, and then being a kid of the 90s, metal was a big deal, so I definitely got to look porn and, and that was a different world. And, uh, it's like every... Every time I found a new band, I was obsessed with them. And I with them. This is worse. So I was then bringing me to other bands. Um, so, you know, when Mitchell, and then I got older, and um, it was a massive influence. Yeah, I my whole life band goes up. Um, and then once I got into that prod. Metal prog world, I started finding all these other words. Or they read the second guy. I really became obsessed with the craft. And I just, I viewed it as a, between different influences from different guys. And I would approach, this is not talking about. I think you have forgotten more about drums than most drummers will ever know. But he said something very interesting once in an interview where he you playing drums in a or so the power line is running is an ascending pattern. He wants to put the drums in reverse order from right to left so that they're ascending with the guitar so that they match pitch as opposed to always going left to right, high to low. He tries it, but the symbols are he tries to hit certain symbols that will match a little bit more closely in tone of other instruments he thinks going on, whether it's the bass or the keys. It's like a musician. Yeah, like a musician. Yeah. <laughs> why, why would you have that particular pitch drum play over that particular guitar? Like, why, why would that even matter? But I I remember reading a clip that just about drum parts, you know, asking about the content of the band and the orchestration to support melody, you know, kind of melodic instruments. And yeah, I, I've, I've been able to concepts when I can never see them. As much as, again, I can't remember. Um, uh, like Gavin Harrison is one of the fantastic people. I'm hoping for you to look up. He, he does a lot of that, a lot of theory. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh. By the way, Joe, not to create an issue, but it's happening. I don't like the bear. Let's see. Uh, you know, the, you mentioned that you mentioned uh, Mitch Mitchell. Mitch Mitchell. Um, and it's, it's weird because the difference between the live band and the records is pretty obvious. Like, which songs Hendrix played on. Like, if you listen, it's a. It's a Hendrix is way looser. <laughs> but it's like some of those songs. Uh, what is that fucking song that's got the lyric waterfall in it? You can tell that that's Hendrix. That's Hendrix. It's, it's really awesome. It's, really awesome. it's, it's kind of like the Prince. Thing. It's like it's like you watch his like watch his new power generation band. Like compared to like some of the stuff that you know he like played on, you're like, oh Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> like, but you know, I mean, the multi instrumentalist thing. If you have a particular vision, you really can't. You can't hand off certain things. Like it's just got to be a certain way. Yeah, I mean, Stevie, Stevie wrote uh, a snap on him and play that drum and then get clapped and then be another another fantastic drummer from a long time. 
No, I don't, but I'll check them out. Just, it looks German. Um, uh, I, I don't know, but I guess. And, uh, this is absolutely the 100% unbridled truth. Would they Kevin Moore bit? Yeah. yeah. I always said, with the quality to Kevin Moore, uh, someone that understands not just how to play all the virtuosic shit, but someone who understands how to create an atmosphere and a vibe. Like he, he definitely was the king of that. Big fucking loss for them. Uh, no disrespect to Jordan or Jordan or uh, uh, fucking yeah. yeah, I actually like yeah, Shrinian playing, though, like, playing like, like what Daniel's like alluding to is that Shrinian is broke a bunch of changes seasons. Change seasons. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, you can tell the difference in the band, right? You know, we were talking about it in Vancouver, and it was like, and that's what I was wrong with that record. I wasn't even going to go on because the rest of the guys didn't want it. And that was the one I was looking for, and there's an atmosphere to it. Even even just in even just in like the more like rock oriented songs like like lie and like six o'clock like like his choice of sounds made that band like it would have just been like another rock metal band without him like like you know like okay there's some fancy guitars and guitars the drummer's awesome but like with those like really Dark, dark, and like the sounds that he chose differentiated them. Everyone else, it's kind of like hypo negative. Like Josh doesn't get the credit he really deserves. He deserves. Like I know Peter would like orchestrated a lot of that and whatnot, but like, like this, it's just the, just the, the sonic, sonic, like, like aspect of it. I forget the music. Forget the music. Just, just the, just the sounds, sounds that were chosen, that were chosen, the choice of each choice. It made that band sound, that band sound completely, sound completely different, different than every other band. Every band. Every I mean, I think to me, to me, Evan Moore was playing on emotion when he chose sounds when he chose parts. Geranium's a rock guy. He approached it like a rock guy. Nothing wrong with that. And what I read is that this was so. And like forgetting like the goofy shit that he does, like, you know, like, stuff, like, the, the circus and, music. He thinks so the best melodies for this thing because of his um, school textbook reason if you if you look musically though what's going, going on at least this is mine this is section section of the different uh, uh, musical relationships between the guitars and the keyboards this like Petrucci hasn't changed really much at all. Much he writes the same stuff. A lot of those weird sections with different types of injuries, you know, all the runs and whatever. They're, they're not any different than, say, like what's on the drop, what's on the drop. Like the real difference is, is that a lot of that chromaticism that he uses, Kevin Moore, Kevin Moore would find a way to choose notes that made him dark. And Jordan Rudis chooses notes to make it sound like a climbing play. Like it's it's like he's it's like matching he's him, matching him. You know, and I know I get he's harmonizing too. Like it's not just like it's not just like playing you know unison or unison. He's harmonizing, but he's harmonizing it in a way that in a way that it's like 
he's, he's trying to be trying like to the be same the brain, same brain, brain. And it's like that. And it's like that doesn't add to it. I don't know. Like I don't know. With Kevin Moore, like, like Kevin he would Moore, choose, like, notes, would choose notes, notes to harmonize with or back off with the harmony, play like a static, like a static thing. That would make it sound like a certain, like a certain. You know, it would have yes, a certain have vibe. A certain vibe. And it's just, and yeah, it's, it's not, yeah, that's not Jordan. It's not Jordan's, like, that's not him. It's not his vibe. It's not his vibe. It's not his brain. I mean, he's a great fucking human. He's a great fucking Jesus. Jesus. It was, uh, it was, uh, it did completely change the thing. It changed the Jordan. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got here? All right, random face pictures. Uh, you gave the classic yeah, rock classic rock classic rock 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 now, now, like, yeah, I guess like, this is the, this is the regular rock. Regular rock. I, I don't know. I don't know if rock hour is going on. I, going on. I didn't. So, so let me. I didn't know rock music until I was up with everything from the 60s through the, the, the mid 90s you know, I, 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 my, I, I, uh, until i was really middle school and that was around the time like metal was really starting to grow up um, and when i was in middle school i mean I was my idol i thought he was the best drummer ever now I realize he's not. Really he's not really good. Good. He was good for the band, but he wasn't. Right. Right. He wasn't. Um, uh, and I think uh, once I realized a lot of these drummers were uh, trying to get uh, 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 um, you know, uh, my uh, my dad, uh, and my my uh, guys are probably the most of my guys. Moy, Carey, and and Harrison. Harrison. Let's see here. Let's see here. Someone's texting. Text strange and strange. It's funny. No one's it's funny. asked. No one, uh, asked uh, no one asked anything no one asked about anything about rock power. Rock power. It's like it's like that festival doesn't that exist. Festival doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. This is uh this is uh this is my cousin. This is my cousin actually. He uh he is actually he's the first actually drummer. First drummer I ever played with. No kidding. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't know if he just showed up. He just showed up to two seconds. <laughs> much like, much like her fucking, her fucking uh, uh, musical relationship. Musical relationship. Oh, no. <laughs> no, he used to be yeah, really good drummer. Really good drummer. Vinnie Paul, 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 Mickey D, Mickey D, stuff like that, stuff like that. We used to play King Diamond covers. Hell yeah. Funny, my my cousin was like was the first person to play. Like the two of us, he was playing guitar, and, and I was playing drums. We, we we liked stuff like Sarah and and you know, so we're like fourteen years old. I was I was three, so I was not even for long. But he was like, like, staring at it, like trying to figure out. First, I figure out that uh, chromatic. Yeah, those were funny. Yeah, those were funny. You didn't have to worry about. Have to worry about. Fuck it. Fuck it. Tour expenses. Tour expenses. Fuck it. Contracts. Contracts. You know all the fun yeah, stuff. All the funny stuff. Being a man. Being a man. I'm gonna give you all five, five, you all five, 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 five,
Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Give me riffs. Give me riffs. I like, I like the tech bands. Bands. Like Obscura. Obscura. Well, well. To be honest, to I don't be like honest, I don't like bands. bands. I like song, I like song, and uh, and uh, like yes, we can, like, yes, we can fucking nitpick about semantics, semantics, because because I do like Guns N' like Roses, Guns N' Roses, like, generally, generally, generally like, like, you know, like I like bands, bands like, I like bands in a general in a sense, general sense, but uh, but uh, I can't I name you one obscure song. Um, um, I have listened I have to Obscura, to Obscura and, uh, and uh, I, I respect, I respect their, their technicality, technicality their, their technical ability, technical music, ability music, but, uh, but uh, could I hum you a melody? No, uh, no. And that's not saying it's anything not negative, negative about them, negative about them because there's probably some guys that like some guys out there that could. But it's just, uh, it's just, uh, does that mean I don't that like, I don't like, like death bands? Death bands. Name some other, name some other bands. Death bands. But do you know any other tech bands? Like, 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 like Void God, 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 is that a tech, is that a band, band, death band, or is that a tech, or is that a tech, or is that a tech, but, 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 Vector, Vector, that reminds me of, that reminds me of, like, a black metal time, black metal time, just play with those guys, play with those guys, back in the day, um, 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 I'd be lying if I said I knew too much. I'd be lying if I said I knew too much. You know, you know, I always say this. I always say this. I don't know if I don't know if everyone pays attention or cares, but cares, cares. I hate genre. I hate genre classifications. classifications. Um, um, like, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, like, it, that's one of those things where you ask me if I like a certain body, I like say no. I say no. But, like, it, you know, I like name bands, I name bands. Like, oh, yeah, I like, like, oh, yeah, I like that band. It's like, Even though I don't like it, I don't like it. How many times have you been like, oh, do you like Prague? And people are like, no, I don't like Prague. You know, I like this. And I'm like, well. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I, mean, I, I don't like Prague. I hated the label. I hated the label. Prague. I hated the label. Prague. I hated the label. Prague. I hated the label. I absolutely hate the label. I don't think they belong. I don't think they belong. I don't know at all. And someone will come along and say, well, we drive with me. We drive with me. We drive with me. And I'm like, well, well, that's, well, that's not what I consider. I consider so hard metal, so. Yeah. It's like what's your what's, what's your idea? idea? What's your idea? Power, power. Like, like if you're if you're, you're talking about like, talking about like what the fuck is that? The one where they're dancing, the one where they're dancing around, around, like, around, like, like Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Uh, uh, shit. Twilight Force. Twilight Force. That's yeah. that's what I that's think. That's what I think. Of, like of like the power metal. Like power metal. And with the power, definitely the power, definitely not. And I definitely, I definitely don't like that stuff. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, no offense. No offense. Um, um, yeah, you do. Yeah, like, you do. Like, there's a twenty. There's a twenty. There's a twenty. Force. And you all should. And you all should. See now. I'm gonna have. See now. They don't even know. They don't even have any views. But you should check out their videos. Check out their videos. That's the one thing. I'll the one thing. Is it is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Like a singer. Is the singer. Is he played with? He played with Ben Hudson for a minute. Um. Um. He, he's he, he's roaming through the roaming fields through with an army of with an army of orcs and a sword and same at the same, same time at the same time like the most ridiculous the most ridiculous major key, melodies. major key melodies and and but like the music but like the music it's like it's, I know what they're like, going I know what they're going for like going for like, like, for, like, like, like cops but what they're getting but is what like they're getting is so like commercial like that like, 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 orchestra sound it's like no it's like I stop that stop that. Let's see. Oh, uh, it's uh, of course uh, my course. cousin. I was on the underground, the underground metal, metal. death metal, Fantas phantasm, 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 phantasm. Adam, 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 Adam. That's, that's all I know. That's all I know about phantasm. Chris. Um, um, let me see. Actually, let me see. You know what? You know what? For the next five, for the next five minutes, we can start this fucker. Where's Adam? Where's Adam? You threw down the gauntlet, you threw down the gauntlet, Chris. Fuck that in your hand, by the way. Hand, by the way. It's got, it's got actually, that's like one of the shakes, one of the shakes, weapons. Hold on a second, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs>
the perception became reality. It, it became reality. It, 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 um, um, yeah. Yeah. Conversation with, yeah. uh, we have so much music. We have so much music. But you look at bands like you look at bands like like when between the buried and me started Subgenres at like at like it's like if I it's like if everything, everything was basically all the way up all the way up until, until like yeah you had like, yeah you had really like, under really underground but they weren't but they weren't really, really part, part of the conversation like, like you had black metal you know you had you, know, you had death metal uh, you had like you had like you know crush you know, right 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 but they all had they all had to place their own place like under like the heavy metal and the heavy metal yeah, right band, right like there was like no there line. was no line. i'm gonna start i'm gonna start a crust like like you know everyone just no, everyone just go you're, you're in a punk band whether they like whether they like or not they go you're dead shitty punk right right it's like are you good are you in a good band or a bad no that's you know and that's you know i mean metallica i mean metallica fucking really fucking they were kind of they were kind of like like what not for what Majority, the majority of people decided, decided it was good, heavy good heavy metal. metal. Like everyone, like everyone, like, that, that direction, that direction, they were so going. So that became the definition, the definition of heavy metal. Whether they're old school, they're old school, and thrash, and not like, the, not um, um, like my, like my. That's the the the, the, the problem, the problem with, this with this whole stratification, stratification of the genres, the genres. Everyone's got yeah. everyone's got to like find their own table find their own table in the long that you're just saying that you're saying I go to Mike Proctor High School like like, like is is imagine if like imagine if like evolution evolution worked like that worked like that and like and like and some people some people were a foot and some people and some were people like, were like a liver a liver you know what I mean you know what I mean like how awful how awful what an awful world like you know like you know like 
at some point, at I just some got, point, like, I just got ridiculous, like ridiculous, ridiculous and became, just became caricatures, caricatures of, of certain aspects, certain aspects, aspects, aspects of the band's life. Like, like, it's like, oh, like, oh, like, remember, like, remember, like, like, when that Phil did that really ridiculous thing, and right, so they tried to kill, let's do a whole band, do all that we do, do, all we do, and then, like, and then, like, you started having, you started having, that we feet, having, having children, other children feet that were feet, you know, like, there's, you know, like, there's no, like, there's no evolution. There's no evolution. It's just, it's just, just going to have a hundred bands, bands that sound exactly, sound like, that exactly that like, that like, like that now. Instead of everyone, instead just, of everyone saying, just saying, okay, we're, we're like musicians, we're like musicians we're songwriters, songwriters. And then like, yeah, then maybe, like, yeah, maybe oh, like, like, oh, like, 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 you know, I really like, think like, with heavy metal, like, and I have, so like, and I have some people that are, just that are so-and-so, so-and-so. It's like, now it's like, every band has their own subject. Like, like dating you know, 15, dating back, 15 years back now. It's like, it's like, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's, it's stupid. It's like stupid. Like, the internet, the internet kind of fucked up because there's no filter. Not, there's no filter. Not, that I like, not that I like record labels, record labels, the industry, the industry. What they did serve, they did serve a fucking purpose. You know, you know. Yeah, I mean, like it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's, like the cream rises, the cream rises, rises and gets everyone the rest, gets the rest. But now we got to, now we got to all the rest. You know what's that? You know what's that? You know, bad. What's that? It's, it's like, it's, it's like, like now you have to hear seventy, seventy fucking songs. It's, 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 it's like, like next, just like the next fad, and that fad is over. And then, oh, and then oh, oh, the one that was actually good, good that sounded like that. Like, oh yeah. I mean, I think. I mean, I think. There's, there's like a couple things here. Right? Like, there's like a couple things here. Like, I don't know if you want to be like, you know, that democratized. Democratized. And the other way, the student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is like in part of the way. The student is the irony of this, especially in what we're doing, especially in what we're doing, for the greater middle class, I think we're being rejected all of the and it's that thing that makes them a I, 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 I,
Uh, it's a very, it's a very odd thing. Thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you know, what's funny? You know, what's funny is I used to have one of those stripper couches in the studio. Had that? Had that? Purple? Is that purple? Uh, it's blue. Okay. Mine was purple. Uh, I think that's the. I think that's the. Yeah. 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 Questions, uh, Chris. Uh, Chris, it was great. Chat. Let me chat with you. Think, 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 like, okay. We'll, uh, I'll hit you up, I'll hit you up regarding the frog power and personal There's some, there's some, some interesting, some interesting things going on. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. All right, man. All right, man. Let's, uh, let's play us out, play us out here. <laughs> <laughs>